Hey guys, how's it going? It's Philip with Trade Genius, and uh, man, what a crazy weekend we've had. We added 50 billion, with a B, 50 billion dollars in crypto market cap just over the weekend. I mean, that's just insane. So I kind of wanted to go over, you know, we've talked about expecting Bitcoin to hit 10K by January. We've always said that for a while now, but uh, I wanted to show you guys kind of on the weekly what Bitcoin's doing now and kind of go over kind of what the dynamics seem to have changed. So we're going to get into that a little bit. One of the key things about when you're managing or trading and your funds is that you need to recognize when, when the climate's changing. And I think we're actually witnessing that right now. So first of all, let's take a look at the weekly chart on, uh, on Bitcoin. All right. So real briefly, um, one thing I want you guys to notice, this is a 20 minute chart and every single time, and this is something that's kind of changed since our dip down to uh, 5,500 if you know, but a little over a week ago, not even two weeks ago. And every time there's some sort of rollover, it just gets bought. So here was um, the 20 minute chart. Okay. And this is like looking at the kind of the weekend action. Uh, and you'll just notice that every time there seems to be, you know, it gets rolls over, right? Just, it just gets bought um, here, big volume here. It dipped and rolled over big volume comes in here. Just now, this is uh, about five in the morning Eastern. So we're getting right into that time period, uh, 5 a.m. Eastern, where we see like the London market start really getting bought up and, uh, again, rolls over and big one. So we're in this like major dip buying mode now. <clears throat> this was the old price channel. If we look at on a 60 minute chart, again, you can see where after we came up from that 5,500 area, every time market looked like it wanted to roll over, buyers stepped in here, here, here. And then all of a sudden it just, after this consolidation period, it just went ballistic. So now, if you look at a weekly chart, so this was that price channel we were in for a while, right? Held pretty nicely. These are volumes of major lows. Um, so, you know, as you can see, that's been going up. Uh, this low and this low had very similar volumes. But you can see now <clears throat> the, the velocity of price has just changed fundamentally. I mean, now we're, you know, this, this was holding price trajectory pretty well this price channel and now we're just blowing out of that so this this whole trajectory is like no good anymore so you know I think what we have to do now is kind of think about what what's changed dynamically <clears throat> and for one thing we've had we, institutional money hasn't really had the adequate tools to get into the crypto space however that's kind of changed since uh, you know the beginning of the month where uh, Ledger X, they've got a futures and swap facility. So that's, that's going to facilitate institutional funds. And then we also have the CME and CBOE futures, which we've covered in other videos. So those are going to facilitate the futures aren't going to directly interact with the actual Bitcoin, but they're going to use that to hedge. And so and plus, that's going to get uh, Bitcoin as far as charting goes into a lot more in front of a lot more people in various charting packages. So anyway, a lot of uh, things have happened this month that are allowing big institutional money to finally start flowing in. And that's one of the key components about um, just the big rise in Bitcoin price that we're going to see all through next year. So traditionally, when we're up like this, <clears throat> these there's metrics we look at, and this is way above what we would consider overbought. So um, if we hit 10K, which I believe we will, maybe in maybe by the time you guys see this video, we are already at 10 K. But, um, if we do hit that, that's a pretty big psychological level. I would not be surprised if we saw some sort of pullback, but I don't think we would see more than a 20% pullback. If that, um, right now, as you guys have seen, and I've shown you the dip buying is, is, is hard and heavy. So, um, it could be funds trying to get positioned into Bitcoin. And so that when they're looking at uh, the performance year over year, it looks really good. Because I absolutely think um, we're, we're just getting into the tip of the iceberg with institutional money flows into crypto space and primarily into Bitcoin. Um, the big fundamental, the big funds, um, they're not, 
they'll probably look at Ethereum and some other things like that too. There are there are Ethereum derivatives coming, but primarily it's all about the Bitcoin. So I just wanted to point out that I think we're seeing a fundamental shift in how Bitcoin price uh, the price trajectory of Bitcoin is, and that we have to kind of keep that in mind that maybe we're not going to see the dips that we've seen in the past. So just thought I'd throw that out there, but I, we do we are overbought. In, in the way we typically would measure that. So keep that in mind. And probably if we do hit 10K, I'm thinking we're gonna see some sort of pullback and I think it's gonna probably be very short lived. Even if it dropped a thousand dollars, I think it I don't think it's gonna it's gonna stay down there very long. I think things have fundamentally changed. So we'll see how that plays out, but that's my observation on on what we're seeing with Bitcoin. So guys I hope you have a great Monday and uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button and like if you uh, enjoy what we're doing, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.